hey guys uh, welcome back after a while and here we are with the Telvin CSS version 4 so I think this is a great advancement and a great effort by Telvin CSS team and we have the version 4 here with many new features so let's have a look first and then we'll go proceed towards the installation of Telvin CSS version 4 which is also a big point for the version 4 and so let's see we have everything here about the filters gradients transforms everything has gotten better and better so if we go to get started section here we have uh, yeah let's you can install it using Vuit, using post css telvin cli and yeah, framework guides are also available here. If you want to use it with the Laravel, you know, with the Vue.js or anything else. So we have, uh, if you want to use it online, through CDN link. Also, the documentation is guiding you through. Uh, so let's go to the simplest and fastest way to get an app and running with the Telvin CSS, which is Telvin CLI. And this is, this is, has been a pure gem for uh, developers so while installing it with the Telvin CLI you can use it to use Telvin CSS offline and that will be a plus point to this and uh, JMT and uh, you know before if we, we just compare with the version 3 3.4 let's say and check it out here we have Telvin CLI and you can see install one, two, three, four, five. We have five steps here. We had five steps in version three, or we have like we have uh, these things. Uh, we have to add directives, we have to config Telvin and, and these things. But in version four, okay, using CLI, Telvin CLI. Yeah, we have got four steps and we don't uh, we don't need to configure like something that. So it's very pretty simple and let's get started first of all uh, i'll create a folder of telvin css so let's say it's tell and just grab it into my vs code then open the terminal and just run the command run the command then we have here npm telvin cli on inside the terminal and press enter uh, it will take a while if your internet is slow like my one but definitely uh, it will be installed so while it is installing let me clarify that you need to have npm on your computer if you don't know whether npm is installed or not you can just go to cmd and search for npm hyphen b or version of npm if it is installed the version will come up if not then it will say npm command is not recognized so you need to install node.js for that we have node.js like download for windows users i'm just telling it you can install node.js and download it and install it and then it will be okay okay so just Fine. Telvin is installed, and now we have to move to second uh, step, and which is we have to create a source a folder and put in input.css file inside there. So we need to come here, create a source. You can create any folder, doesn't matter. Then inside that you have to put the this uh, directive. Okay, import the input.css and paste it here press ctrl s and save it now you have to go again to terminal and run this command uh, i'll explain what this command means so let's go here npx uh, like uh, we have npm executable like we have to tell it that uh, and grab everything or every class that we use and match it with the input.css grab the CSS from there and uh, bundle it into output.css file inside the source folder. We have source folder, but we don't have the output.css file here. The command will execute and it will create an output.css file and 
dash dash watch or it will just keep it running while we are developing so let's see yeah you you see we have the output the css file here and everything is ready to use now i'll create a html5 like index.html and we'll put everything html inside it now we have to link our tailwind file here link like source slash output we have to link the output file and whenever uh, i click Control s uh, you see that we get uh, tailwind css compiled or css compiled here let's say Control s yeah we got this one and let's check if uh, whether it is working or not so i'll check it like h1 hello and welcome to tailwind css let's save it and check it yeah you can see before we had before tailwind uh, we have h1 like this one bigger in font but when we link tailwind css you just see that so it's working fine but if you got any question regarding the installation and anything else you can ask me in the comment section please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you very much